Y'all remember when I was riding my lawnmower around Christmas time and I did this to my wall. Okay, well now I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it myself because no one thinks I can actually do it. So I'm gonna fix it. So stay tuned. Okay, this is what y'all gonna need. When you get a hole like this, you need a spatula, you need some sandpaper, and you need some spackling. This actually is pink, but it turns white when it's um, ready for you to sand and paint over it. You're gonna need a pair of scissors and you're gonna need some of this. This is mesh. This goes over the hole as the crackling, I'm sorry. This goes over it, this stuff right here. It's like a mesh, okay? So I'm gonna be doing this, so stay tuned and I'll let you see it as I go. This is what it looks like so far, y'all. I put this stuff on there and it's pink, but as you can see, as it's drying, it's turning white. So when all of this turns white, then I'll have to go over it again and it won't be pink, okay? Some people say I can do it, some people say I can't. But just wait and see. You'll be surprised. Mama Red, master of all things. Holes in the wall, holes in your head, holes everywhere. Yeah, stay tuned. Okay, at the beginning of this video, I showed y'all that I had put a hole in the wall for Christmas, right? Okay, so I just want everybody to know that if I break it, I can fix it. Now this part right here is very smooth because I caulked it, okay? And I sandpapered it. I told y'all y'all would need some sandpaper. So yeah, so what I gotta do now, is wait until the pink part dries okay and as y'all can see see the little doggy paw print right there that's from mikey okay the kind of spatula that i use it turns the whole white it turns the whole wall pink and you have to wait until the pink dries and when the pink dries then you'll know it's time to actually sand it down but that is real smooth. So you're not even gonna be able to tell that there was actually a hole in my wall that I put in there, okay? Um, I kinda wish there was some kind of way that I could do it to keep Mikey's little paw print right there. I guess he was trying to help mama. He ain't know no better. But now I gotta wait until that dries and put his, cover up his little paw print. So it'll take me about another day. But as you can see, some of it, like right in here, I have to sand that down. But as you can see, after I sand it, it'll be smooth like this. Smooth, very smooth, okay? So, yeah. But I just thought I'd let y'all see it and know that whatever I break, I can fix. So yeah, stay tuned for the finishing touch, which will probably be tomorrow, okay? If you have anything you need fixing or any ideas on how to fix stuff or whatever, let me know at Mama Red, okay? Stay tuned for the finishing touch as we remove Mikey's paw print. I don't know when he did that, the little ass. Yeah, he's trying to help his mama. He's so pretty cheering. All right, y'all. Tomorrow I will be back with y'all with the finishing touch and I'll let y'all see me paint over it. Okay, I gotta finish painting my garage because I bought two different colored paints when I didn't know, child, I was, I'm dumb. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching and you'll get the finishing touch tomorrow. Bye for now.